so the Detroit Pistons have signed Stanley Umude to a non-guaranteed training camp deal. This comes from Keith Smith. You watched him a lot for the Motor City Cruise. This guy's like a hustle player, right? Like pretty athletic, but likes to get kind of like a nose for the ball, dive on the ground, get you an extra possession type of guy. What's really unique about uh, Amude, and uh, I wish Mikey was talking because he, he – or not talking. I wish he was watching because he'd probably agree with me. Um, He came off the bench with that Cruise team, which – in my opinion, he could have been a starter, and he was kind of a spark plug off the bench for the Cruz this year. Um, what you need to know about Amude is he plays the forward position. He's got a nice shot from the outside, and he does have some defensive potential. Um, do I see him making the team? Personally, I don't, but I, I think he's just a body in training camp that the Pistons obviously signed. I, I think they can carry up to 21 players until the start of the season, but... Uh, good to see him get a training camp deal from the Pistons, and I, I'm sure he's going to hustle his ass off to try to make the team, but we, we just have so much depth at kind of like that forward position. I, I, I just can't really see him getting playing time like over a Livers or an SR Thompson or anything like that. Like He's a, he's a nice player, but he's going to have to do like a whole lot if, if, if he does want to try to make the team. Yeah, he played one game for the Pistons last year and averaged two points and 100% from the free throw line, but... Yeah, I don't know much about him. I went to college at South Dakota in Arkansas. You know, I mean, that's that's cool. You know, but I mean, I don't know much about Stanley and Mude. Um, I'll have to watch maybe some Motor City Cruise games because I have a feeling he'll be brought back. He'll be somewhere in Detroit. It just won't be with the Pistons. But good for him to get a training camp deal. Maybe, may, Or maybe he does prove something. Maybe we don't know what we're talking about, and he just proves something in training camp where he just becomes a force. Occasionally that happens from some of these guys, but very unlikely. Yeah, I, he's a nice player. I, I will say that. Um, he was a spark plug for the crews last year. Um, like him and Kyler Edwards, those two were just hitting threes coming off the bench. And it, it was just like a lethal one-two punch. And, you know, he does have some defensive upside. Like if you need wing depth and let's say you just have like a – injury like livers gets injured or sorry gets injured like i'm not saying it's going to happen just hypothetically he could be a guy that maybe you you signed to a cheap contract because something happened in training camp but other than that he's just going to be a body um i feel like a lot of the training camp deals that we the pistons have given out i i, I really can't see them making the team yeah because it was xavier simpson he's not going to make the team the guard depth is just too good and, I mean, he's not even on a Killian Hayes level, you know, for basketball. I mean, probably a better offensive player, but just does not have the size to be a full-time point guard in the NBA. And then I think Tawson, he got a training camp deal. He's a guy I could see making the team, though. He has an interesting skill set. You know, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, can play the three. Primarily played the four, I believe, at Princeton. But good, solid passer, strong player, a little bit of an outside shot, kind of cerebral that's a guy that you could see making the roster. But again, it's even a long shot for him. But I'm just glad that the Pistons are in a position where they're not seriously considering bringing these guys out and they're not going to get big they're not going to get big minutes with the Detroit Pistons this year because if they were, it would be another long season. I'm just glad that yeah. they're healthy and these guys are coming in and getting a couple paychecks and you know, getting to say they played for the Pistons for an offseason. Yeah, like most of these guys that are on like these exhibit 10 non guaranteed deals, they're not going to play a whole lot. Like you might see them in a preseason game or getting sent down to the G League, but that's that's all they'll probably be. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just we have a lot of depth and there's going to be a lot of competition in this training camp. I'll, I'll just say that. I will say though, it's kind of cool that Troy Weaver continues to bring in familiar names during the offseason to let these guys get run with um, with the main core of players. Because I feel like it would be easy just to continue to bring in new names, new names, but bringing someone that's familiar with the organization and how things are ran and familiar with, like, the Motor City Crews, if that's the team they're playing for or whatever, it, it, it seems – I feel like that's really beneficial and kind of an underrated move by Troy Weaver right there. And it keeps his guys getting paid. I think that's pretty cool too. Are uh, you talking about, like, bringing Buddy Bayham back? Mm-hmm. Kind of. <laughs> and, and, well, Stanley, he was brought in last year. Um, so was yeah. so was Roden, and then um, 
Xavier Simpson, I mean, he's not new to the Pistons either. Like, he's been here for, I think this is his second offseason getting a training camp deal. I could be wrong about that. But I just think that's pretty cool that Troy Weaver does that. Just brings some familiarity with these guys and, you know, keeps them getting paid in the offseason because you know they're making a little bit of money. 